Time now for focus. And earlier this week, Mexico reiterated its view that it will never pay for Donald Trump's anti-migrant wall. Despite Washington's determination to crack down on illegal immigration by constructing that fence, thousands continue to make the perilous trip across Central America to the U.S. Many cling dangerously to the roof of a network of trains better known as the Beast in the hope of uh, forging a better life. Claire Rush and our colleagues at France 2 Television have this report. Along the tracks of a commercial train station, dozens of Central Americans run to secure a place in the freight car. The train could depart at any moment, so quickness is of the essence while climbing atop. A family with three children and a baby, prepares to board. Are you scared? No, we've already traveled like this. The migrants climb in with the freight, but the family decides to get off. Too much dust. The baby can't stand it. With no advance warning, this train leaves the station. Latecomers make the dangerous run to get on board what's been called the train of death. Moving around comes at a risk as the train picks up speed. We have a mattress, blankets, some water. Others only have a change of clothes. As the train passes through villages, more passengers climb aboard. The freight cars are loaded with corn and metal. Migrants hang on tight, their legs dangling. Throughout Central America, this train network is called La Bestia, or the Beast. We call it the Beast because it shakes you up. It's dangerous. You could fall off. It's like trying to mount a bull. The train winds through the jungle. It's one of the most dangerous parts of the journey. They lie flat on their backs to avoid the branches. But injuries are commonplace including loss of limbs. A man with one leg wants to climb aboard. The man lost his leg a year ago when he was run over by the train. Why did I fall? Because I didn't want to get caught by immigration officers. The migrants themselves have stopped the train by detaching two freight cars. Don't make it hard on us. Be careful. Don't you want to make it to your final destination? Because we do. Get on before the train leaves, or else you'll fall. With a few extra minutes before departure, some migrants forage for food. We're stocking up on mangoes for the ride because we're going to run out of food soon. Some have already been traveling for months. It took this woman and her daughter two weeks just to reach Mexico from their native Honduras. Some days we were able to find a little bit to eat. Other days we had nothing, not even water. I don't want to admit it, but these last few days we've been drinking toilet water. The train continues across Mexico, from south to north. Many migrants travel in groups to look out for each other, especially women. It's scary when night falls and when the train stops in the middle of nowhere. As a woman, I have to be careful. I'm afraid someone could get on the train and hurt me. There hasn't been a single police checkpoint along the way. Once a police car drives alongside for a few kilometers, only to continue without stopping the train. The migrants are generally allowed to pass through. Night falls as the voyage nears its end. At stations, people get on or get off to spend the night in migrant shelters. Just a few hundred more kilometers to the U.S.-Mexico border. Well, that brings you up to date. I'm back after the break with more world news and headlines. Do stay with us here on France 24.